how to make motion blur render faster inside of DaVinci Resolve Fusion. It feels like motion blur is still really unoptimized inside of DaVinci Resolve Fusion, which really sucks because it looks awesome. I really hope Blackmagic Design is working and fixing this, but for now, I have some solutions to help your poor computers. So the first one, turn it into one node. Now what do I mean by that exactly? Well, when you have multiple transform nodes, they're actually working together behind the scenes. Which means if you have multiple transform nodes connected together, you only have to turn motion blur on in the last one, and it's going to automatically render it for all of them. So if you have two transform nodes with animations, it's going to cut the motion blur render time down in half. And it still gives you the same result. Now let's say you have an animation in a text node, going into a transform node that's also animated. If you turn on motion blur inside of the transform node, it will not apply motion blur to the text node. The other thing is that if you interrupt the connection between two transform nodes, say with a blur node or a shadow node, it's going to cut off the connection, meaning you now have to turn it on in both of those nodes. Pretty much this only works with transform nodes. The only exception to this that I know of is the merge node. It allows you to pass that connection through to a different transform node. Trick number two is bypassing motion blur, which essentially turns it off when nothing is animating, saving you a ton of time when rendering. If you have a 10 second clip with a one second animation at the beginning and end, normally turning on motion blur would render it for that full 10 seconds. And as you might have guessed, that's really inefficient. Instead, animate the motion blur checkbox, so that way it's only on when something is animating. It's still gonna take a little while to render at the beginning and end, but in that middle section, it's just gonna fly by. I combine both of these tools in all of my templates, saving hours and hours of render time. If you want to see it in use in templates, check out the editor collection link down below. And to learn some more time-saving tricks for DaVinci Resolve, click this video right here. Just gotta click on it. It's right there.